What do you look for when joining a college? Is it the cultural and traditional values of a college or the placement percentage? Do you look for sports facilities or the infrastructure? Is it the ranking or the research funding of a college that makes the difference for you? Whatever it is, it all ends here. Welcome to College Suggest. And in this video, we are taking a peek into the top 10 private engineering colleges in India. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications regarding your favorite colleges, college comparisons, courses, careers, and much more. As always, all the facts mentioned in this video are sourced from the data submitted by the college to the NIRF. We leave the links in the description below. Coming in at number 10, it is the Manipal Institute of Technology. Offering an intake of 1,860 UG engineering seats, MIT Manipal hosts over 8,000 UG students. Across the last three years, Manipal's placement percentage has been on a steady decline and last year they managed to place a total of 896 students with a placement percentage of 57.5%. However, on average, students who were placed were offered a very good salary package of Rs. 5,50,000. The beautiful campus and the comfortable lifestyle of the college and the hostels make it one of the most desired places for students to study. There are a total of 91 full-time and 3 part-time PhD students studying at MIT. Seven full-time students have graduated with a PhD in the last year. They have received over 13 crores as sponsored research funding and over 29 lakhs as consultancy project funding. MIT has spent over 9 crores on their capital expenditure and over 170 crores as their operational expenditure. With its very impressive faculty-student ratio of 1 is to 13, Manipal has earned its 43rd rank at the NIRF. At number 9 is the Shanmuga Arts, Science, Technology and Research Academy, Tanjavur. Shastra has an approved intake of 2,090 UG engineering students and has a total of 8,098 students studying in their undergraduate engineering program. Shastra is one of the leading engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu, spread over 232 acres. Although there was a slight dip in 2018, Shastra has brought up its placement percentage to 92.4% by placing a total of 1,488 students. Students were offered an average salary package of 3,50,000. There are a total of 328 full-time and 182 part-time students studying at Shastra and 28 full-time and 29 part-time students have graduated with a PhD in the last year. Shastra has received over 16.4 crores as sponsored research funds and over 1.2 crores as consultancy project funding. They have spent a total of over 25.5 crores as their capital expenditure and over 117.7 crores as their operational expenditure. With a faculty-student ratio of 1 is to 14, Shastra is ranked at number 38 in the NIRF. Number 8, Sri Siva Subramanya Nadar College of Engineering, SSN in Chennai. Opening to a total of 900 UG engineering seats, SSN hosts over 3,700 UG engineering students across all four years. When it comes to placements, SSN performs phenomenally by maintaining its high placement percentage by placing a total of 633 students with a placement percentage of 93%. Students were offered an average salary of 4 lakhs per annum. Spread across a beautifully landscaped campus of 250 acres, SSN offers an excellent atmosphere for students to study in, especially for their 218 full-time and 326 part-time PhD students. From SSN, 22 full-time and 26 part-time students have graduated with a PhD. They have also received a sponsored research funding of over 3 crores and consultancy project funding of over 1.3 crores. SSN has spent a total of 3.85 crores as its capital expenditure and a total of 89.46 crores as its operational expenditure. With a faculty-student ratio of 1 is to 15, SSN is ranked at number 37 by the NIRF. At number 7, it's SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Katan Kulatur, Chennai. 
putting up a strong intake number of over 4,700 UG engineering seats, SRM opens its doors to a total of over 20,000 undergraduate students. SRM has had a big drop in their placement percentage in 2018, but they have managed to do extremely well this year by bringing their placement percentage up to 96.9%. By placing a total of 2,874 students. With such a big intake, their placement percentage is really impressive and in fact it is the highest on the list. Students were offered an average salary package of 3,60,000 per annum. SRM offers excellent campus, hostel and sports facilities which are spread across 250 acres. There are a total of 351 full-time and 79 part-time students pursuing their PhD at SRM. 13 full-time and 40 part-time students have completed their PhD last year. SRM has received a sponsored research funding of over 15 crores and a consultancy project fund of over 85 lakhs. SRM has spent over 40 crores as its capital expenditure and over 314 crores as its operational expenditure. With a faculty-student ratio of 1 is to 11, SRM is ranked at number 36 by the NIRF. Coming in at number 6, it is Amity University, Noida. Amity University at Noida holds an intake of 2,200 UG engineering students and there are a total of 7,987 UG engineering students studying here across the four years. Although Amity has the lowest placement percentage among the top 10 engineering colleges in India, it has been on a steady rise across the last three years. By placing 977 students, Amity University has a placement percentage of 56.6%. The average salary package offered to the students at Amity University was 3 lakhs per annum. Amity University has a posh 95-acre urban campus at Sector 125 Noida. There are a total of 232 full-time and 618 part-time PhD students studying at the campus and 26 full-time and 44 part-time students graduated from the college last year alone. Amity University has spent over 5.85 crores as their annual capital expenditure and just under 200 crores as their annual operational expenditure. With a faculty-student ratio of 1 is to 16, Amity University is ranked at number 35 by the NIRF. At number 5 comes Bits Ranchi. Bits Ranchi has increased its intake from 750 to 780 and opens its doors to a total of 2,690 UG engineering students. Bits Ranchi maintains a relatively steady placement percentage of 66.6% .6 by placing 421 students with an average salary of 6,60,000 per annum. The beautiful 780-acre campus of Bits Ranchi holds 168 full-time and 80 part-time students who are pursuing their PhDs. 10 full-time and 3 part-time students have graduated with their PhD last year. Bits Ranchi has also received 5.9 crores as sponsored research funding and over 65 lakhs as consultancy project funding. They have also spent a total of 24.7 crores as the annual capital expenditure and over 75.6 crores as the annual operational expenditure. With a faculty-student ratio of 1 is to 21, Bits Ranchi is ranked at number 33 by the NIRF. In at number 4, we have Siksha O Anusandan. With over 1,260 UG engineering seats, Siksha O Anusandan is the training ground for 5,924 UG engineering students. Siksha has been maintaining a high and steady placement percentage across the last three years. Last year, the institute placed a total of 965 students with a placement percentage of 90.8. The placed UG students have been offered an average salary of 3,50,000. The modern campus of Siksha O Anusandan is spread over 127 acres and offers a comfortable learning environment with great sports facilities. There are a total of 347 full-time and 109 part-time PhD students studying at Siksha. 67 full-time scholars received their PhDs from Siksha last year. Siksha has spent a total of 39.6 crores as its annual capital expenditure and over 152.4 crores as its annual operational expenditure. With a faculty-student ratio of 1 is to 16, Siksha O Anusandan is ranked at number 32 by the NIRF. 
Coming in at number 3 is the Birla Institute of Technology and Science Pilani. Offering an intake of 2608 UG engineering seats, Bits Pilani hosts over 8870 UG students. Across the last 3 years, Bits Pilani's placement percentage has been holding steady and last year they managed to place a total of 1577 students with a placement of 83.4%. On average, students who were placed were offered a stunning salary package of 11 lakh. The placements in themselves are a great motivating factor for students to get into this well-reputed institution. Bits Pilani's massive campus is spread across 328 acres. There are a total of 267 full-time and 105 part-time PhD students studying at Bits Pilani. 38 full-time and 2 part-time PhD scholars graduated last year. Bits Pilani has received over 5.3 crores as sponsored research funding and over 79 lakhs as consultancy project funding. Bits Pilani has spent over 29.8 crores on their capital expenditure and over 212.5 crores as their operational expenditure. With a faculty student ratio of 1 is to 21, Bits Pilani is ranked at number 25 by the NIRF. And at number 2 we have Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology Delhi. Thapar Institute has an approved intake of 1625 UG engineering seats and is open to a total of 5998 undergraduate students. When it comes to the placement percentage, Thapar Institute had a good couple of years before taking a major dip, which gives them a placement percentage of 76.4 by placing 901 students. The average salary package that was offered to the place students was a good 6 lakh 20000. Founded in 1956 with a campus spread across a sprawling 250 acres, Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology located in Patiala has been a pioneer in engineering education, research and innovation. There are a total of 422 full-time and 188 part-time students pursuing their PhD programs here. Last year, 28 full-time and 45 part-time scholars graduated with a PhD. Thapar Institute has received over 9.08 crores as its sponsored research funding and over 1.3 crores as its consultancy project funding. Thapar has spent over 12.3 crores as their annual capital expenditure and over 148 crores as their annual operational expenditure. With a faculty student ratio of 1 is to 14, Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology is ranked at number 23 by the NIRF. And finally at number 1, the Vellore Institute of Technology. VIT Vellore puts up the biggest intake number among the top 10 colleges with 6883 UG engineering seats. The institution opens its doors to a total of 20936 UG engineering students. VIT's performance with their placement percentage is not as good as it was in the previous years but they have managed to place a total of 2311 students with a placement of 80.8%. These students have been offered an average salary package of 5 lakh 20000. VIT's 350 acres has a beautiful and scenic campus with a lot of sports and recreational facilities that are ideal for any student to concentrate and perform at their best at all times. VIT offers the biggest PhD program of the top 10 colleges with a total of 1331 full-time and 1495 part-time PhD students. Last year, 132 full-time and 44 part-time scholars graduated with a PhD. VIT has received over 16 crores as their sponsored research funding and over 89 lakhs as their consultancy project funding. VIT has spent over 48 crores as their annual capital expenditure and a phenomenal 636 plus crores as their annual operational expenditure. With a faculty student ratio of 1 is to 14, VIT has earned its place as the best private engineering institution in India, ranked at number 18 by the NIRF. So what other colleges did you expect to be on this list? What other interesting top 10s would you like to see? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. For more information, visit collegesuggest.com.